Ladies, gentlemen, welcome back. And today, we're going to be looking at the Pavis. Now, these obviously have been a bit of a terrible unit. Nothing's really changed. Um, but I just want to pull them out, really have a look, and see how they kind of compare to their, um, you know, the, the sort of Kriegs rats, the Imperial Artibutus. I know they're not crossbows, but I just want to see if they're viable. And anyone that was thinking of getting them can watch this and go, you know, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Um, but to start off, we're going to look at my doctrines and vet, vet line with them, and then we're going to move in some clips and just have a general discussion. Um, so let's get into their vet line. So these are my Pavis. Um, of course, they're not max level, but that doesn't really matter because when we look at the vet line, you'll see why that doesn't really matter. There's not any more points that are going to increase their damage. It's literally one point in health and the rest in ammunition. And these guys already have crazy high amounts of ammunition, so... It's not really making any difference. It was nice to see that they lowered the leadership because these used to be 320 or 325 or something ridiculous like that that made them totally useless, basically. You would never take them. But now they're sitting at 280, so that's not too bad. Um, so let's uh, let's look at doctrines first. Doctrines-wise, we got an ammunition doctrine with uh, extra piercing pen. Always nice. We have a rate of fire by 23. We've got a double shots, but like an upgraded one uh, with 9% extra rate of fire. Um, we've got an accuracy by 30 and piercing by 70. And then just a piercing damage and piercing pen um, crossbow doctrine. So they're pretty stacked out. There's, uh, it's fair to say they've got some good doctrines. They should be doing well. Um, let's look at the vet line. Okay, so veterancy line, we are going to go top. And I think top is the only way to go. Um... Basically, it's more to do with damage, where bottom line, it seems to be much more to do with being sort of tankier and survival, surviving. Um, so, of course, I think you're going to want to go top line. You get extra extra range, a bit of critical, um, extra damage to cavalry. That's quite nice, actually. That's quite a lot of damage. That's 30%. Uh, increased armor pen with, um, with the bolt ability, more uh, piercing, reduced cooldown. Uh, more piercing pen, rate of fire, more piercing pen, and then your bolts have a 20% chance to stun enemy units. So, yeah, I guess that can be that could be quite nice. Um, in terms of health, we have 5,400 health. Um, there's 22 of them. As I said, leadership's now 280, so that's a lot nicer. Ridiculous amounts of ammunition for their rate of fire. Uh, 3,328 piercing pen and um, 2,734 piercing damage. So looking pretty uh, pretty all right. And then they've got some mid defense, really, some mid defense. So yeah, that's them. Not much more to be said about them. They uh, they fell off a little bit back in the day or back a few see it for the last few seasons. But we're going to pick them up. We're going to see what they do. So let's get into the clips. So here we go. We're pushing for the final point. And I thought, you know, time to bring out the Pavise. Obviously, we've got double shots and a few things like that. So hopefully we will be able to pull out some damage. And luckily, this clip I did actually manage to get. Probably the, the best clip I would be able to get with these. Uh, in terms of having them up time and just a continuous um, sort of round of shooting. Um, but... 
And another thing that's nice about these guys is obviously they've got enough ammunition that you don't really need to send them back that much. Uh, the other thing I did notice is these guys tend to do better against higher tier units. So, I, yeah, I don't know how that works. I think it's probably built into them. But, but yeah, whenever I see sort of higher tier units come in, I, yeah, they, they seem to clear them up quite well. Um, we're just picking up a few here. We've got the Pavis set just behind us. And I, I'm moving them back and forward just to try and, like, just to kind of counteract whenever I feel like the other team's bringing in something or going for a little sort of getting a bit of momentum and a bit of a push so move them a bit off the line away from these reapers and we, we clear up these reapers pretty quickly there's a few nice hits going off so sort of 1000 stuff but my my main issue is i feel like with imperial artibutus or krieg's rat fusiliers um maybe krieg's rats might run out of ammunition a bit quickly especially with all the higher tier units here even with the mastery but especially the imperial artibutus i feel like their damage and their output of damage it's just so much stronger. Yes, I think these guys are tankier and can take a take a hit, but I don't know. It's it. it I feel like for the less leadership of the Imperial Arts you would do better. And then saying that even further off, they are super squishy. But Rattan uh, Marksman, uh, I think, are the best crossbows in the game. I, are they, their damage output, their po their poison is just um, it's just better than these boys. Um, but nonetheless, I had a good time with these. It is fun, and the formation is cool to use. You know, their line formation. Also, if if they if the other team have archers out or other guns, you can have the option to put your shields up. Uh, that we'll see in the next clip. Me using that feature. But um, yeah, I mean, we're we're getting some kills in. I can't really knock them right this second because we're. Yeah, we're, we're landing kills with gently ticking up. It's just not as fast as we're used to with, like, you know, the other musket units. Um, but, yeah, so we're now we're now going to push in a little further. We have a bit of momentum. We've got a shield wall that's always nice. So I was like, yep, yeah, time to push these guys in. Uh, they're landing. They're landing. But I think some of these kills are coming from me throwing more than anything. Um, I probably should have uh, direct fired towards their muskets at the back there. Um, but I, I didn't really think of that at the time. I was just surprised I was actually getting this much time uh, being able to shoot with them. That, you know, is good. I mean, yeah, when you actually look at what they're hitting, it's, it can, it does look disappointing. Um, but as I said, to get a clip that is this long with them, it's, it's good. Like, I didn't get this, I didn't do this well with... Um, with them in many other games because they are quite easy to jump and kill they don't really have that insta kill you know if you jump Krieg's rats for example those guys will snap around and kill you unlike this guy can just come in here and uh yeah and then i get killed here so we're moving on now in this one again pushing last point with a with a group and um we're gonna we're gonna use that shield function to uh well, midway through this, just just because there was a few shots and a few arrows coming in, and I was, I seen their their health get ticked just a little bit, and I was like, uh, on this push, I thought I could be that second shield that I guess is the good unit, the good um, use for this unit is you could be technically the second, um, like the second shield wall. You are the shield wall to the archers behind you. Um, in, you'll see the kind of setup I was going for. I don't know if it was actually that necessary, but in a minute, it will come in. So at the moment, obviously just waiting for everyone to arrive. We're stacking up. We're going to start peeing the, the, our teammates' shields in a minute, and he's got to, his job is to pull them round and make a line for all of us to get behind and uh, get, get going with. Um, so I've set them off to the side here just to kind of start getting some kills from this angle here, picking up one or two, but it's, it's not very impressive. Um, so he's got his he's got his shields. Has he put them up yet? We've tried to jump on our thing there, uh, and yeah, more kills. They've got their shields. That's probably why the damage is quite low on those, and they are actually getting through the shields. That is nice, um, but it's uh, it's just I don't know how we'd be getting on right now if we had Rattan Marksman. I mean, the problem with Rattan Marksman, of, of course, is that they can be flamed by a singular musket, and he'll kill the entire load of them. Especially when there's scorpions and stuff around, it's probably quite difficult. So now with the uh, the shields are getting pinged, it's our time to move up. I'm going to move them just behind the shields for this point here. Get a 
get them to start clearing whatever's on on the point at the moment and they're landing they're landing there's just not it's just kind of hard to get used to not seeing that hail of hail of bullets or hail of whatever uh and just the kind of slow so here we go we've made that we put the shield wall up uh and i'm going to move them up kind of mid range as a as the shield the shielding are of the range um for a little bit until until we get on the point um, until those brains start moving up even further. Um, so now it's gonna gonna put them on the point, but what I'm gonna do is spread them out so they so they can't just be jumped. That is a good it's a good tactic for these so the mall can't just spin and hit all of them at once. Um, he can only do a certain selection uh, and then they're just gonna take the point. But coming into this next clip uh, into these next clips, this is a this is from streams. You're gonna technically get my like live reaction of using them, um, and uh, yeah, so it's gonna be live reaction. You're gonna see me in the corner, and we'll see what I think about them live. Okay, my Pavisarinos cappuccinos. I shall. Von you are mad. destined with glorious purpose. Said. Said. Moon them. I'm mooning them. Sippy ITV. We got the Pavis that are out. They're doing. They're doing their job. How are you, Plum? How does the battles doing? The battles are doing actually relatively well tonight. They're fun. Can you shoot? Shoot something? Shoot for Daddy? No, not today. Yes, there it is. Brrr. Doing less damage than muskets would do. That sounds about right. We're doing. We're doing good. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Those guys down there. Yep, yeah, they're yours. Oh yes. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Absolutely wrecking face right now. I see two hundreds and then I see a thousand. Like it's it's quite a disparity. There's a big disparity. It's not great. Did you just did you just kick him to the curb? Whoop. We're gonna need some more reinforcements over here, gentlemen. Where are they? Hello? Nope. I'm just gonna just... I'm just gonna leave you there. Shoot, my man, shoot! Yes, that's how it goes. That's how Zweihanders always works. Oh no, oh no, you got Pavis all over you! And you got me all over you too! Pavis tickling since 2002. Oh, they, they're, they're not effing around now, they got the hussars in here. Oh, Jesus! Behind us! Behind us! I'm going down. Can I have help? Nope. Well, that's fine. We're gonna push through here. Can I, maybe I can get them out. Maybe. If they don't get killed right here. Okay, we're just gonna leave CPI them. TV. We're gonna leave them on the edge here. They can just set. They can just do their thing. 
I'm a bit sad after a game earlier today plum you know the atri who shoots arrows I used one I managed to shoot one shot, and then I got interrupted that one arrow gave me a hero kill and I did not record it. Oh no! Good night, sweet baby! Good night, farewell. I shall shine my light at you. Okay, we're gonna pop these just here while we go and grab a new unit. There, just, just, there's just no damage to them. There's no damage. Okay, what do we think of the Pavis? After all of that and all the games we've been using with them, I still don't think they're worth it. They don't seem to really have enough of a niche that I really want to spend 280 leadership. I'd rather take Imperials or Kriegs Rats or even uh, Rattan Marksmen. Um, so, personally, I'd leave these alone for a little bit. Maybe as a kind of like range shield unit to uh, to shield your friendly range. But apart from that, I wouldn't bother. I would not bother. But I hope you enjoyed this little venture. Um, thank you for watching. If you like this sort of content, I'd really appreciate the sub. Take care and I will see you in the next one.